Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We are Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube. We have two days worth of what solds for you today and today's video is going to be a little bit different. Um, the first half, the first day of sales, it's kind of how we've been doing our what solds um, for the past basically every video we've done. Um, and then the second day, which is today, we're going to go back and um, we're going to show Kathy pulling the items and show you kind of how our system is. Um, and I don't know, maybe you guys can tell, let us know which way you like better. Um, but we were just running, we didn't, we haven't picked all the items yet today. So we figured this would be kind of a cool way to mix it up. So let us know what you think and we'll just go ahead and get started. Hey guys, a little bit of a slower day, but I'm actually happy because yesterday all I did was ship. So, um, I think we had no, no Poshmark sales. I was going to say we had at least a sale per platform, but that is a lie. Um, but I did have a couple Mercari sales. This first one was just a blender bottle. I think I actually bought this for Chris for a Christmas present like a year or two ago, and he never used it. So I just listed it, and then it sold for ten dollars plus shipping. So I think I bought it at Walmart for like ten. So I probably lost a buck or two on it, but no big deal. Better than sitting in our closet. Uh, next up is these little Nike sandals. These came from my stimulus check challenge. Um, well, they came from the bins. They are part of the stimulus check challenge. So these sold on Mercari. Someone offered me 15 plus they paid shipping. So I accepted that. I only have about a buck into those. Um, and then I have a Bo Hudson scarf. Um, this I bought off Kitizen as like part of a bundle to get a better deal on the item I actually wanted. So the scarf I paid $6 for. I wouldn't have bought this at a thrift store for $6, but... I knew I could make my $6 back, so it ended up selling for $10 plus shipping. So I did make my $6 and then like $2 profit. So. But I got the shirt I wanted for a lot less. All right, and then last Mercari sale was this mini Bowden shirt. Um, I actually bought this off Kitizen a while back. I think I paid like $18 or $19 for it. Um, and it ended up selling on Mercari for $22 plus shipping. So probably made most of my money back, might have lost a dollar or so on that. Um, that was for my kid. I don't just buy things to lose money on on purpose. <laughs> um, then we had a few eBay sales. And then this is some play shoes. These again were my son's. I actually got these at Nordstrom Rack on like a clear the rack sale. So they weren't super cheap. They were $17, I believe, like $16 with some change. Um, so just going to say 17 And he wore them a couple times. And then I listed them for $34.95 free ship. Um, I sent an offer to watchers of $29, um, and someone accepted, so 29 free ship. Shipping was just over four on those, so I did make my money back. Uh, this next one is a Lily Pulitzer for Target dress. It was new with tag. I got this off ThreadUp. I believe it was $12.99. Um, I might have used a coupon to get it for that price, but uh, it sold for $34.95 free ship, and... Yeah, so I about doubled my money on that. This was about three something to ship out. And then another item I sold was uh, the spider jacket that was part of my mm. stimulus check challenge. So got it from the bin, so only a dollar or so into it. It sold for $34.95 free ship. Um, the padded flat rate cost $7.76 now to ship. So about a $20 profit on that, I think just over 20 bucks on that. Um, and then last but not least, we had one kid is in sale. This actually sold to a friend. I don't know if she watches our videos, but if you do, Jackie, thank you. Um, yeah, it's just a peak kid shirt. This was my son's that I bought off kid is in for, I don't remember. I think maybe like, I don't know. I really don't remember. Um, but it sold for nineteen eighty free ship. So uh, shipping through kid is in was three eighty five. dollars So I made back close to $14 on that. So. Yeah, that's it for today. All right, so this is uh, going to be for today's pulls. Uh, Kathy, we're going to follow Kathy and see what we sold. So here's Kathy. Hey, guys. So, yeah, we'll just um, we'll start with eBay. It looks like I have 11 sales on eBay, and you guys can just kind of follow me along with what I would do, not on camera normally. Um, so CF. Pull these Under Armour men's... Um, <laughs> uh, I got these at Goodwill for $10 in November. 
and they sold on eBay last night for $59.95 free shipping. So um, they're going to California, so shipping should only be just under $9 on those. Um, and that's something when I do $59.95 free ship, I factored that in about $10 worth. So it could have been $12 if they lived in New York, then I would just eat that $2 cost if that makes sense. Alright, so next sale is a pair of Volcom shorts that actually sold to a viewer. So they are in box CO. Alrighty, so these, um, yeah, just some Vol Volcom toddler shorts. Both my kids have worn these a few times. Um, I bought them off from Mercari a very long time ago, looks like. I knew I bought like a bundle from someone, so I... My spreadsheet I wrote 650. I don't know if I went back and found that that's what I paid or if that's my guess of what I paid. So I know that I didn't even pay 10 for them, but let's see. They I had them listed at 14.95 free ship. I had a watcher which I did not know was a viewer, but um I sent her an offer of 11.95 free ship and she accepted and then message saying that um she was a viewer. She wrote, "Hey, just wanted to say thank you for the offer. I watch your videos on YouTube. Love your content. These will be perfect for my little boy this summer. Thank you. And those are going out to Emily. So Emily, thank you so much. Emily, thank you so much for the support. Hope you love them. All right. So next is box CX. I sold a little Daniel Tiger plush from the bins. All right. So that's him. And he sold on eBay for $6 plus shipping. So I'm okay with that. It was... <laughs> I have about a dollar into it because I do do my M and like I divide everything by the number of items I got. But if you really think about me paying by weight, that probably costs like five cents at the bins because it's so tiny. But yeah, I like to throw in those things when I get a bunch of shoes. That way, it just brings down the cost per item, and I still made five times my money there. So <laughs> six dollars plus shipping. Was that part of the stimulus challenge? Yeah. Okay. So we're still. I want to give you guys a update. We'll do an update Total at the end of this video. End, yeah. yeah. We're doing, she's doing pretty well on it. So, so another one that sold. We've got this also from that uninventoried pile right here. We're yeah. going to be working on a little bit later. <laughs> um, so this Winnie the Pooh blanket sold as well. That was also a stimulus check challenge item. I just listed it yesterday for $24.95 free ship. And that's what it sold for. So it's under a pound. It should cost around $5 to ship that out. And I have about a buck into it. So. Just need a lint roll that. I did wash that before I listed it because it was a blanket from the bins. <laughs> and yeah. So AK. All right, so these were a pair of Kids Converse. These I actually bought for my son. He probably wore them a few times. Got them from Once Upon a Child, so I have about $6.50 into them. And then they sold for $19.95 free ship. Shipping will be around $4 on those. So I'll make um, maybe like a $7, $8 profit off of those. And so just to kind of give you a little info on, on what we're doing, Kathy's got our spreadsheet pulled up on her phone. Yeah. And she's searching the items based off of her emails, which she's going through and looking through to see what our solds are. And then once she searches, it shows us the location of the box, and that's just how we know where, the, where it is. The locations of our inventory is completely random in the boxes, and like this pile here is just stuff that is listed, but we just have not uh, actually put in our inventory system, so. Okay, that one took me a while to find. So um, these are some Victoria's Secret pink slide sandals. They are in box AT. All right, so yep, another stimulus check challenge item. These, again, I have about a buck into them. They sold for $19.95 free shipping. Um, I know a lot of people say pink isn't selling that good right now, but these had over 30 likes on Mercari in just a few days of being posted. So it's funny, they sold on eBay, even though I sent offers for lower than 20 on Mercari, but that's just how it goes sometimes. But yeah, um, and I had a few watchers on eBay as well, so I don't know. I won't say that like everything Victoria's Secret Pink still sells because mm -hmm. I do have some hoodies that have been listed a while, but those sold fast, I mean, within like a week or so. So Because that was also a yep. stainless chick challenge. Yep, we're doing good. <laughs> that's mostly what I've been listing, so that's kind of yeah. what we're selling. All right, and this is another viewer sale. So let's see. 
box BF down here somewhere. So this is like a vintage goofy nightgown. Um, the tag of it, it is a Mickey Unlimited tag and it sold for $15 free ship. That was an offer I sent out, I believe. So eBay has an option, like when you send offers to likers, you can set it to keep sending that same offer every time you get a new watcher without having to go in and manually do it. So I think that's what happened here because I was out shopping with a friend earlier this morning and um, I saw that I had this sale uh, $15 free ship and I, I didn't just send the offer so it must have been that I sent one a while back to someone else they did not accept but this person who is a viewer uh, did accept and she wrote a note thank you for your videos I've commented before but y'all are my favorite reseller oh. influencers <laughs> um, your videos are to the point honest and genuine I appreciate them I know how much extra work it is but makes a huge difference at least for me I've been meaning to make a little purchase as an extra thank you, and I'm I'm so a vintage Disney weirdo. I may come back for Fozzie. That's <laughs> a little bear that we have from the bins. Um, so much love, Mary's Rack. Yeah, so Mary, thank you so much for that. Um, hope you love it. I love nightgowns. Um, that's why I kind of bought this, because first off, it was vintage Disney, so I liked that, and then I just like sleeping in nightgowns, so I figured somebody <laughs> would want it. Thank you for buying that. I let me see what did i pay i got that at goodwill around before christmas for a dollar 99 so um i think it's about it's probably going to ship out at a let me see well i have the weight we do keep our weights of our items in our spreadsheet 9.7 so yeah it'll ship out at a 12 ounce rate so about four dollars to ship that mary thank you so much for the support and the kind words they mean more than you know so all right and then these it's so funny to me that they sold, but they did. <laughs> I mean, after even though the comps told me to get them and that they were going to sell, I still just did not believe that they were going to sell for what they were going to sell for. So these little poised bladder controls that we found at the bins, um, they ended up selling today for $59.95 plus shipping. Uh, buyer paid $11.10 for shipping on those. So let's see, what did I can't remember yeah so I I counted these as one item from the bins instead of like so I technically only have a dollar 21 into all four boxes mm -hmm. total so um, yeah instead of counting them as four items and then doing a dollar 21 times four I just counted them as one so I turned a dollar 21 into sixty dollars plus shipping on some bladder control that is awesome. so it's just amazing like <laughs> and that was that sell. was also stimulus check challenge so that's yeah. a really big boost to that and I don't know, that's kind of like a little shout out to Matt at Part-Time Pickers. We, uh, I don't know if we would have necessarily looked at that before seeing all the kind of crazy stuff he sells, yeah. so. <laughs> I, I think this might be on the floor still, so, yeah. All right, so we sold this little Penguin Slumberkins for uh, $29.95 free ship. That I just listed this yesterday. As you can see, that was the stuff I listed, but I haven't put away yet, so. Um, that was my son's, so I think I paid $16 for that guy. Um, but yeah, so I'll make all my money back. He's under four ounces, so it'll cost around $3 to ship. And then a couple bucks profit, the rest back in my bank account. So next thing I sold was a Bonnie Jean dress. It's in box BV. just like a floral smocked dress so the reason i bought this bonnie jean i would not recommend picking up i mean maybe if you get it for like a dollar or something this one i actually got at once upon a child for um five dollars and it sold for 18.76 plus shipping so i did make a few bucks but it took a while to sell the reason i bought it is because like the floral pattern like the vintage this is not a vintage dress but it reminded me of the vintage style dresses that I've been selling and then smocked is something that people look for a lot. So I just thought those two things together would sell well, but it really didn't. So mm. I'm not telling you to pick it up. <laughs> I would definitely probably pick it up for one to two bucks at Goodwill, but otherwise, no. But yeah, 1876 plus shipping, it'll probably be a $9 profit or something. So it still worked out. All right, so that's DG. I sold some Columbia sandals. We 
these were another stimulus check challenge item. Uh, so I have $1.49 into them. And they sold for $29.95 free shipping. Um, the buyer lives in Florida, so that will be a little bit pricey to ship. These will not fit in a padded flat rate. Um, that's always the first thing I think of for shipping big shoes, which mm -hmm. men's size, these are men's 10, they won't fit in that. Um, so yeah, I'll just have to do like a shoe box and it'll probably be right around 10 bucks on those to ship. So. But yeah, I only have $1.49 into them, so it'll still be probably about a $15 profit on those. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but so like Columbia Sandals isn't something I'd really pick up at a Goodwill, um, but since it was the bins, I picked it up. All right, so that was it for eBay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, 11 sales on eBay. We had one kid is in sale. Nope, two kid is in sale, so let's see. All right, box B. have two of these because I don't feel like I put this away yet. <laughs> so I just listed it. Um, yeah, so I, this is a Pete Kid shirt and it has like a Gandhi quote on it. Uh, you must be the change you wish to see in the world. So uh, this one's on Kid is in today for $17.95 free ship. It'll cost me through the app uh, $3.85 to ship. So probably around 10, 11 bucks is what I'll make back on it. This was my son's shirt. I don't remember what I paid for it, but probably a little more than that. So making back 10 to 12 bucks on that. So yeah, I must have another Pete Gandhi shirt because my spreadsheet is telling me that it's in box B, but all right. And then the other kit is in sale is a two item bundle. All right, first up DG. is the brand STEM. It's just a sweater. So STEM is sold out like Nordstrom. This I just bought for my son off Kid is in. It looks like I paid $16 for it. So he did wear this like around Christmas time. That's kind of what I bought it for. And then the other item was probably, I don't even know if I bagged that yet. <laughs> All right, well, it's somewhere because I just listed it within the last few days, so I'll find that, but it's just a tiny little shirt. You'll see it on the screen. Um, I also got it off Kitizen, but it is full of stains now, so uh, this buyer put both items in her cart. The sweater alone I had listed at $24.95 free ship. Um, since the the tank top, I listed for nine or $10.95 free ship, but I basically would have given it away for free as a buy something and I'll give you this shirt so I did send her an offer of just 25 for both items and she accepted so um yeah I won't make back all my money but the shipping will probably cost about 575 so I'll make back 15 16 bucks mm -hmm. oh, I did have one Poshmark sale and then she asked to cancel so this is something that always gets to me <laughs> like <laughs> I like to ship my stuff like right away like that's why I always have it here on the desk for you guys to see because I don't like like right now it's 2 49 p.m i don't like waiting even though i don't go to the post office so far i like getting it ready get the people their tracking info on posh mercari i like to push the buttons that say that you've shipped it even though you haven't actually taken it to the post office yet so that they think that you know you've done your part of the mm -hmm. shipping so anyways if i would have done that she could not have asked to cancel but i didn't because i was out and about just thrifting and yeah so she bought it seven hours ago and then one hour ago asked, I made a mistake on your order because it is the first time I order from you and I could not find orders to be able to cancel it. She could not have canceled because she made me an offer to which mm -hmm. I accepted. So if you didn't know on Posh, there's a three hour rule that you can cancel, but that's only if you buy the item outright as full the price. full yeah. price. So, um, so she had made me an offer, I think, so it was this American Girl chair, so we'll show you, but it's not actually sold because I'm going to cancel for her. 
Um, but yeah, the American Girl chair, I had it listed at 40, I think. She offered me, well, while I was sleeping, she offered me 35, canceled that offer, then offered me 25, which I would have accepted 25, so even though I was a little bit annoyed that she canceled an offer and then offered lower, I still accepted the 25. Um, and then, yeah. And then she ended An up canceling ago, anyway. Yeah, asked to cancel. I still call within the three hours range, so you should cancel for me. I order one too much. I looked at her profile. It looks like she just created it this month. Um, she doesn't have any, like, love notes or anything. So I think she's just new and doesn't really know mm -hmm. kind of how to navigate. So, yeah, I'm going to cancel her order, even though I'm annoyed about it. But <laughs> the chair will sell again, maybe for yeah. more, maybe for less. It's not the end of the world, but... Yeah, those kinds of things do get to me, but it, it is what it is. Everything always sells again, so it's more of a hassle to, like, I thought about saying, sorry, I've already shipped it, even though I haven't, like, if I would have already packaged it up, I'd be more likely to say, no, yeah. sorry, <laughs> but since I have it. I'm so in not. terms of Poshmark rules, are you within your right to decline that? Because yeah, like, she doesn't I have could... the ability to cancel it through the app, right? right. I could say, sorry, I'm... I've already shipped or I'm going to ship it. Yeah. You made me an offer and I accepted, but I just don't want to deal with the hassle of yeah. that. She could mess it up and then I get back a broken item if yeah. she wants to make a problem. So it's not worth the hassle, but yeah. Yeah. So I've been asked that before. Like, what do you do when people ask to cancel? It doesn't happen super often, but I would say every few days it happens. This is what I was telling Chris. I swear it happens, like, when I don't give them their tracking right away. Mm -hmm. Like, I that's why I like to... I'm, like, shipping just all the whole day. Like, as I'm listing, as I'm cross-posting, if mm -hmm. I get a sale, I package it up right then and just set it here until we go to the post office. So, yeah. What do you guys do? do you, <laughs> would you have said, no, sorry, I'm still going to ship it, or would you have just canceled? Let me know what you, so, what you guys do. I'll add my two cents. <laughs> <laughs> um... You know, we're trying to find ways to help streamline our operation. We're getting to a point where um, we have a lot of sales every day and it does become a very large part of the day. Um, and, you know, I'm a big proponent of batching workout. So I'm more on the side of like what we're doing right now, knocking it all out in one go more towards the end of the day. But naturally, that does mean that maybe we're going to get some of those cancels or those re requests more often. Um, and that's maybe that's just kind of the the cost of doing business that way. Um, so I don't know. I kind of talked to Kathy about maybe trying it out for a couple weeks and seeing if it really does, you know, making note of every time it happens and, and seeing if it really does change. But let us know what your guys' experiences are and um, maybe that'll help us sway our decision one way or the other. But I think we have uh, maybe a couple other sales. So here's Kathy. So then last three sales, so there is no Poshmark sale since that one will get canceled. So then I just had two Mercari sales, but someone, while well, Chris was talking, made me an offer and I accepted. Oh, so now I, have three Mercari I should talk sales. more often then, huh? No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's see. All right, Bucks AM. This is just a Carter's vest, which I normally would not pick up Carter's, but this was only 99 cents and it was new with tag, so that's why I bought it. And it was like a cute Sherpa vest. If it was like a onesie or something, I wouldn't have bought that. It was a cute little mint green Sherpa vest and it ended up selling on Mercari for $11 plus shipping. So, not bad. Pretty good sale. I mean, like a seven, eight dollar profit there super easy to list front back tag photos and listed so all right box b i so these are another bin stimulus check challenge item pair of clarks these were the ala ala flats um so a dollar 39 into these ones they sold for 27 dollars plus shipping so pretty good yeah a little bit there this last one that just came in, uh, box CU. All right, these are some Merrill Ontario shoes. Um, I actually got these at the Dillard's discount Labor Day sale, um, where it was buy two or buy one, get two free. So 
each pair came out to 1985. So I have 1985 into these. That's like with tax and everything. Uh, someone just offered me 50, so I accepted that. So I make like 42, 43 minus. So more than double my money on those. Uh, at least a $20 profit on those. So yeah, that's what we sold today. Um, I do want to give you guys an update on the stimulus check challenge, but I have to do all today's to like see where we're at for yeah. that. So we'll cut back in with that. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and pack these up and then we'll get a, give you a heads up. So stay tuned. All right, so we got all that stuff packed up, ready to go. And Kathy wanted to do a quick uh, rundown of the Stimulus Check Challenge so far. So what's what's going on with the Stim okay, Check Challenge? So, yeah, I just want to let you know where we're at. So, you know, we have our regular January solds, but I made a separate little tab for this specifically. So um, you can see these first two lines aren't an actual item sold. So we've sold 60 minus two. So 58 items we've sold just of this um so the cost of goods on those what is it 58 items yeah. costed me cost me 78 dollars so we've generated 1165 dollars in gross sales um so that's the total sale including shipping and everything before fees and stuff are taken out mm -hmm. um so like these are our fees our shipping costs depending on where they sold sometimes the shipping was just part of it but anyway so um, after all fees and shipping came out, um, we've profited seven fifty two out of this eleven sixty five. But that's um, the net profit, right? And then not including taxes. Out of my six hundred dollars, so far I've spent two hundred and seventy six dollars of it. So I haven't even spent half of it. I'm gonna. I'm almost listed everything that I bought so far. Mostly, I think. Um, so as soon as I get that, I'm going to go back and do as more trips, probably at least have six to eight trips more to spend it all. Um, but yeah, we are... As of today, we are... $475.71 complete Oops. cash profit. Um, that's after fees, shipping, that's after cost of... Well, that's after completely what I've spent, right. even though I haven't sold everything that I bought so far. So I've mm -hmm. spent $276. So that's basically the 752 number minus what I've spent. So yeah, and we've only sold 58 items, which I think is great for how quickly they sold, but um, we still have a ton left to sell, so. And a ton left to buy. <laughs> yeah, and it's, it's, it's going really, I think it's going really good, so. Yeah, at the very end of this, I'd like this to be in the few thousands, mm -hmm. um, but I'm happy where it's going so far, so. All right, that is going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for sticking around. And again, let us know how you felt about the second part of this video where we kind of showed you a little bit more of how we pull things. Um, I know we've done it before in some past videos, but I don't know. We're kind of looking to see what we can do differently in our new office space. The old way kind of worked with what our desk was, so we didn't have to walk around the desk all too much. But anyway, uh, let us know. And yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.